All right, so I picked up my fabric and it's super cute. I'm so excited. This is beautiful ivory lace. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut a swatch of it and wash it, see if it shrinks or how it reacts in the wash. And I will go from there. So I traced the swatch and that is just so when it comes out of the wash I can see if it shrinks and by how much. And I think I just heard a package arrive. And it did. All right, guys, I'm so excited about this. This is gorgeous fabric. Honestly, it's prettier than I thought it was going to be. And even the solid one is just, it's its amazing. These are both 100% linen and it's just very light, great for summer. And I'm so excited to get it washed and ready to start making some dresses. This is what happens when you need to dry eight yards of fabric in a tiny apartment. Yeah. All right, so I have the fabric cut for the lace dress, which is the lace fabric on top and then the lining fabric for underneath. And I only have it done for the, the skirt part of the dress because I haven't really quite finished the mock-up for the bodice. But I've realized that uh, cutting fabric is not my favorite part of the sewing process. <laughs> so, uh, can't wait to do the other two dresses. All right, now that I have the skirt part of the dress cut and sewn, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the edges and hem the bottom. Okay, so that whole bit about cleaning up seams was a lie. <laughs> I told myself repeatedly to not forget to put in pockets, and I forgot to put in pockets. So now I get to go in and add her take apart seams so I can put in pockets and then I'll clean up the seams. All right, so what I have done is I've felled down the raw edges and I've created a pocket slit and that is mainly because the skirt is two layers it's this lace with the lining fabric and then the pocket will actually be in the lining fabric with the access point here <laughs> through the lace. Is this how it should be done? Probably not. Is this how I'm going to do it? Yeah. 
Now, I will say that working with the lace has been a very interesting experience, uh, but I'm very happy with how it looks, fell down, and I'm going to go ahead and iron it and move on to getting the pockets inserted on the lining and then putting the two layers together. All right, pockets are sewn into the lining. So now I get to officially attach the two layers together. All right, so I am at my sister's house for the week, cat sitting while they're on a camping trip. So I get the house to myself to work on sewing, which is great because I have more space, loud cars, and hardwood floors to work on. So that's gonna be awesome. The only downside is that I have cats. So that's definitely gonna slow down my work but it'll probably be entertaining to watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying my fabric out and hopefully I can get a lot done while I'm here. Yes, I packed up my entire life. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I was expecting out of this. Okay, so I have the three panels of the skirt cut out. I'm a little sweaty because it's hot today. Hi Moon! And I will say that working with linen is very difficult. It kind of skews really easily and trying to keep it straight and all the grains in a line is just, it's problematic, especially with kittens trying to lay on it and run under it. But I got that one done, or at least the skirt portion of this dress done. And now I need to work on the blue linen. So I think I'm gonna get myself a cold drink and start working on that. I think it's finally nap time. And as per usual, I forgot to add in pockets. So I could go back and take that seam apart, 
put in pockets. <laughs> All right, I just woke up, so um, excuse my morningness. Uh, I got a lot done yesterday. I obviously cut out the skirt portion of the green leafy dress, uh, and then I went ahead and sewed that together, and then spent the rest of the day hemming all the raw edges of that. I kind of regret not doing that on the machine because it is a lot of skirt. <laughs> But I had a nice day yesterday just working on the hem and listening to A Court of Thorns and Roses on audiobook, which is surprisingly in-depth for a YA novel. Okay, so just a quick interruption while I'm editing this video. So as you heard, I just said that this book was YA, and you're like, why are you talking about this book that is not relevant to your video at all? And the reason I'm talking about this book is more because I worked at a bookstore and I volunteered at a library, and it's an interesting topic to me. So just hang in there. Now, I thought this book was YA, and then I started getting more and more into the book and it became a little bit more descriptive than usual YA. So I started to wonder if this book was actually YA. It kind of followed the same guidelines as YA, it sounded like it was written for YA, but the romantic intimacy in these books was a little bit more than I'm used to for YA. Now. I don't have kids. I'm an adult. I honestly don't care. I don't really have an opinion on this kind of thing. I don't really care so much as to how it's labeled or anything like that, though I'm sure that there are many parents who have thoughts about it. <laughs> but my thoughts revolved around how do you shelve this book? <laughs> So I did some research and some places say that it's YA and some places say that it's something else. And I just wanted to say that shelving and categorizing books can be a difficult job. So if you ever get frustrated because you see a book that you think shouldn't be labeled or categorized or placed into a certain genre, then just have some understanding that it's a librarian's job and a bookseller's job to take a look at this book and make an informed decision as to where they place it. And usually there's a good reason as to why they place it there. They have to follow general guidelines and rules and basic understanding of what people are looking for to place books in their categories. And they can't really monitor every single book, nor can they really focus on the couple of parents that come in and say that they don't like that the book that their kid is reading is put into YA or mid-reader or whatever. So please be aware of this. If you have a serious problem about a book being put into a genre that you don't think it should be in, then you can have that conversation, email them, or go in in person and just explain why you think it's in the wrong place. They might agree with you. Uh, just like I said, they can't monitor every book perfectly. Sometimes they realize that they've made a mistake, and other times they will not agree with you and they'll explain why they put it in that section. It is up to you to do the research that you need to do for the books that you are getting for yourself or your kids. You need to monitor that and you need to make sure that you are the one gauging what is right for you and your kids. So today I am going to go ahead and work on cutting out the blue skirt and doing the same thing with that. Continue listening to my book and hopefully I can get the fabric cut out before the kittens wake up because they are now fed and happy and sleeping and I really want to try to get that done before they come in and, and make it harder.
my game for the best things in the world. But I want to my own and no one else's. Moon, get down. All right, so I am obviously back home and I did get a lot done while I was at my sister's. Not as much as I wanted to get done, but I do have the three skirts of the three dresses done and prepared. So now I just have to sew together the bodice and then put them together. Plus add endless amounts of buttons that I haven't purchased yet. So my next video will be putting together the bodice pieces and then attaching them to the skirts and making some dresses. I'm really excited to get these projects done because it is hot outside and I would like to be able to wear them. But in all honesty, it's going a lot faster than I thought it would. It's really nice to be able to use a sewing machine and it's surprising how fast that does go. And I still enjoy doing my hand sewing, doing the hand felling, and I obviously still have to do that with this project, but the sewing machine is just so fast and I feel so much more accomplished when I get something done quickly. <laughs> Now I will say that working with the linen has been an experience. As I said earlier, it does get a little bit wiggly. So trying to get the fabric to lie flat and not skewed to get a good clean cut is a process and it does take a little bit longer with this kind of fabric, but I am happy with the fabric. The skirts look great and I think they're going to be really good for summer weather. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's sewing video and I hope you enjoyed me trying to work with cats. I'm definitely a proud aunt and I love those kittens so much. So if you're interested in following them on Instagram, you can find them at Nori and Monake. Go ahead and leave a comment below, like this video, or even subscribe. Stay sane, stay safe, and stay healthy, and I'll see y'all next time.